This happened, uh, I, think, I think we were 23 at the time, and I was a very young minister, and this was a fellow who came around our church that I got to know quite well, probably about the same age. And he, he uh, is a very enthusiastic Christian. He told me um, he was having wonderful quiet times, which was a British way of talking about his personal Bible reading and prayer. And I had, I think I had begun to notice something um, in the way people read the Bible. And so I said to him, um, I said, uh, tell me if um, he, was, he was reading Ephesians, it was particularly Ephesians. And I said, well, tell me, if I had given you a, a notebook at the beginning of the month when you started reading Ephesians, and you had, you had written down what you were learning. He was very excited about what he was learning. Uh, and I think he may have been journaling. He said, now, if at the end of the month you were willing, if at the end of the month you were willing to let me see that, would I find either A, a very interesting account about your own spiritual experiences, or B, would I find at least an outline of what Paul said in Ephesians and how that applied to you. And he said to me, oh, he said immediately, undoubtedly it would be the first. And I had begun to think that there were actually Christians who had read the Scriptures for years, but if you asked them, could, could you just tell me what's in Ephesians or uh, what's Romans about, all they would be able to tell you would be a verse that had stuck out to them here and there. They, they would know that all things work together for good for those who love God. They might remember that they were to put on the whole armor of God. But what they would not be able to do would be to tell you what Paul actually said to the Ephesians. And, and so I tried to explain to him that if that was the way he was studying the Bible, actually there was a lot of time he was wasting. Um, and he wasn't embedding into his life, into his psyche, into, even into his memory banks, what the message of Scripture actually was, because it doesn't come to us in isolated texts, although individual texts may mean a great deal to us. But that there was a message in Ephesians that it had a structure um, that shaped the Christian life. Um, and. Uh, I said, why don't you try that for a month? And so we, we met again at the end of the next month. He said, this has absolutely revolutionized. I think he said, this has revolutionized my Christian life. And I was wise enough to know that, you know, that probably had not happened in a month. But it had really revolutionized his appreciation of what the Bible is and how the Bible works and how, how to read the Bible in such a way that it's a long-term investment in your life because you're really building a Bible into your soul in that way and not just isolated texts. Um, so, you know, even at that level, learning to read the Bible, this is not a sophisticated thing. This, in a way, it just takes the flick of a switch to be able to see this. Uh, you know, we're not saying here you need to go to seminary in order to be able to learn to read the Bible properly. Uh, we're just saying, you first of all, you listen to what it's saying, and then you apply that to your life. You don't look at it in order to begin to reflect on your own life without reference to what the Bible is actually saying. And that, I've found for some people, that is a real movement forward to a steady growth and maturity.